Hello everybody, this is Baron of Bear, and this is going to be a video about the game Diablo Immortal, the mobile game. Uh, there's been a lot of debate on this game, on the monetization, and what I want to do to discuss in this video is just explain some of the things they did in this game uh, and why they did it. Uh, that I haven't really heard other YouTubers or other people mention uh, exactly why they did. And the hope for this video is just to give you some extra information as you as a gamer to then decide what you would like to do. You know, I'm not telling anyone uh, not to play this game. I'm not telling anybody to play the game. I'm not telling you you can play it free to play. I'm not telling you you can, you can be a low spender or a big spender. Uh, this game, uh, there's issues in the game as far as monetization. I can tell I've had a lot of experience. I got over 30 years of experience in video games, a decade in mobile games. I played all the Blizzard games just to give some little bit of information, background about me. And I can tell there's been multiple parties uh, making decisions in this game as far as the monetization and you have to remember blizzard was purchased by activision now activision is bought by microsoft so there's been acquisitions of this company okay so to literally put a blame on if there is of any issue on an individual or a certain company uh it's really hard to do that because uh, I, I've had experience in working and in, in dealing with these type of companies. You know, there's uh, uh, parent companies and, and what's not, and they change different names and all kinds of things. So uh, this this video is just to basically help uh, gamers to decide on their own. So I'm just going to go off right off the bat here. Uh, if you play on a mobile device and you get this message where your battery high consumption while playing it will overheat uh, if you get this message if you want feel free to post a comment below in this video and letting other players know that who would come to this video see how many people have issues okay because i've played this try to play this and, and get it on multiple mobile devices and every single one's been overheating I've had batteries not even last on like an hour playing this game. So it's it's amazing how how really bad optimized this game is. So please post a comment. Anyway, we're gonna go into featured packs, okay? Now this is gonna come up on the very top right of your game screen with a red dot next to the shop. Okay, you click that, then it's gonna have these dot by the bundles and services but it's going to put you right into the feature the reason why this is they're doing this is these are 99 cent packs really cheap they don't really give you anything you know and all the legendary crests and all these bundle packs are not eternal so you're not going to get the same drop as you would from the 25 dollar 10 eternal rift run just to clarify that so every day that red dot's gonna come on your screen, okay? And it's gonna get to claim their free daily rewards. What they're hoping is eventually one day you break down and, and you buy one of these packs. Maybe when you get to 35 or 40 or 50, you start to slow down, you hit you hit a wall or where you can't really feel like you're not progressing fast and feel like you wanna spend a little bit of something. Yeah. What's a dollar, right? Well, then it gets you in the door where psychologically you're already thinking you, you already spent that money, okay? So. But what you do next, you go to the other additional packs, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure when you buy the Beginners and the Mad Kings, once you buy those, these cheaper packs, we're going to fill those up again. Okay, I, haven't, I never purchased anything in this game, so I'm not really sure how it will work once you buy those. But my guess is, you know, it's going to push those up. So the next pack's going to be $1.99 and the $4.99, okay? And then you're going to be like, next couple of days might go by or a week goes by and that red dot's still there, you know. So you click the shop, okay, you got to claim your rewards. But then you see them packs and you see, oh, it's a four ninety, dollars it's only five bucks, you know. You spend them that. Maybe next week, another pack comes, the one, six ninety nine. dollars oh, it's only seven dollars, you know. And then the last one's ten bucks. Well, if you do the math on these packs here, it comes to a total of like around $26, okay, just happens to be the same amount of money that you would need to get 
10 crest because as you see here 1600 to get 10 you can buy $25 pack to get 1650 so for you'll have 50 x extra orbs after that for $25 basically roughly 25 bucks for 10 crest hey but it's a dollar cheaper than all the bundle packs right so you're saving a dollar you know it's all psychological what they're doing is they're getting you to spend the first $25 to where then once you realize you might not even realize that all those packs those legendary crests are not eternal so you might have went through those those uh, legendary crests and not even know they weren't eternal and you didn't get no drops or whatnot so you're like man I spent $25 you know, I didn't get really anything, you know, I, I didn't get anything really to drop from this crest, you know. Um, I can see here, I can get 10 more of them, but for another $25. Well, I mean, I already spent 25, what's another 25? Bingo. They got you for double the money, when all you had to do was just buy the $25 of t 10 legendary crests. You didn't even have to buy the, the bundles, see. But that's the, the cheap ones. Well, then they get the special ones. Okay, that's not it. Uh, let me see if I can find those real quick. Yeah, you got the specials here. Oh, it's only $25.99, $35.99, $9.99. Look at the price in here. See, why isn't the first one $24.99? They wanted to get that extra dollar from me. So right off the bat, even the lowest spenders are going to get nickel and dimes. The second pack, $35.99. Why not $34.99? Where's this extra dollar coming? What's the purpose? And then you had the $9.99. And I'm not going to go too much detail on all these packs and what you can find in other videos where they go over this more in depth. But what I will clarify though is... You buy the $25.99, then the $35.99, then the $99.99, and that only gets you to rank four gem, okay? But if you look at this Prevent Fang Legendary Gems, the two-star gem, if you look at this, it says, increases chance to find magic items by 10%, unlocks at rank five, okay? This here only gets you to rank four so you get to spend more money to get to that that's all done by design then let's go into cosmetics okay you would think okay you know just a simple skin you know 10 you know maybe 10 bucks 20 bucks or something yeah you know 20 dollars uh but then if you really look at the, the thousand orbs, okay, you cannot buy any pack that has a thousand, okay? The cheapest one that's got at least a thousand is 25, all right? So you're going to be thinking, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll buy that. I'll have some extra gems. Well, extra orbs. Look what they do then. Just to get the, the dark, the portal skin for this skin set, it's an extra 500 orbs. 1500 orbs so somebody that's not paying attention or first time not familiar with this what they're trying to do they're going to spend $25 they're going to get the collector skin because it's called the collector skin so it must be better the only thing you're going to be getting for five more dollars basically is a portal skin or so is it really worth that no so that's all about, done by design. So what they're going to do is hopefully you're going to spend $25, okay? If you get five characters on your account, if you ever would get that, I'm just saying. That's $125 just for one of these skins. And you have four skins, that's like $600 in just four different skins for all your characters. When it should have been account linked to where you bought that skin you could put it on any any of your characters but they didn't do that okay then you had the services okay you had the 4.99 empowered battle pass okay uh the one that's 14.99 only big difference with that is it just gives you a boost to 10 levels and it gives you 
you know, uh, the portal skins and then avatar skin, it looks like. But see, uh, what I would recommend if you would purchase these things, uh, hold off and doing the battle pass pack until towards the end of the battle pass. That way, if you know you need 10 more levels, you know, if you're at 30, you want to get to 40 or whatever you want to try to get to, you need 10 more levels, then you, at that time, you can make the decision to buy the $14.99. Okay, that's just a tip if you need that at the very end. If you're running out, you got one day left, you know you're not going to get 10 more levels or whatnot, then that's the option. You can wait to the end and then purchase uh, a Battle Pass pack. You don't have to purchase this right off the bat. In, in the beginning of a season you can wait and purchase it and get all the rewards at that time which is what i would recommend my personally okay the other monthly type of pay uh, besides the battle pass um would be the boon of plenty and this is a little confusing and i don't understand why they did it this way it doesn't make sense to me stacks up the 90 days of rewards available three three so Instead of making this like an automatic renewal subscription that would give you maybe a discount or extra orb, something of reward for you to, to subscribe, which would be a smart idea in my opinion, they came up with this complicated way of doing it. I, I'm not sure if I've ever seen another game I've played that's ever done it this way. Uh, 90 days, you know. Uh, it's a little odd, but it's commutative. Uh, rewards and the issue I had to if you notice I find this is an interesting thing about this being a plenty of pack okay if you look to the remote market access now there be people who said well you know it, it makes it convenient you know for and they could have given that right off the bat but you know the reason is because why this is here is because they want it make, to make it easy for you to access the marketplace now listen to this before you buy any eternal crest okay you just bought some of the bundles that had the crest that you thought that the other pack had okay now when you access that market you're going to find out that those gems from those from those legendary crests that you bought from the bundles you cannot sell in the marketplace okay well then you're going to find out the only ones you can sell are you can sell in there are the eternal you know legendary crest so what, what are you going to do? You're going to buy Eternal Legendary Crest then, right? You see what I'm saying? That's when they're going to even encourage you even more to spend that other $25. You know? So that's by design. That's why they did that. Because that's why they didn't put the bundle crest to be eternal and, and make those gems tradable in the marketplace. Because they want you to, if you, most likely, if you're going to spend, you're going to be a subscriber. Okay, so they're going to encourage you to buy those eternal crests by this $9.99 monthly subscription. It's all by design that they're gearing you to spend more and more and more, and you don't even know how much you need to spend. That's the worst of it. Okay, okay, then you have the Prodigy's Path. Okay, this is a one time purchase $20. Once you buy this, once you reach certain levels, you get rewards you know throughout the whole and to the end game so a lot of mobile games do this and it's usually a good value but i'm the more i look at this i just don't like this because these crests that you're getting they're not eternal crests this is the issue i have with the monetization okay this shows me that there's been someone manipulating things in the shop and the prices of things that aren't that that do not has not any experience in mobile games. So somebody made a decision that wasn't experienced. Like you know, I know NetEase was, was made the game, but I don't think that they made this decision. I think this was made by somebody in corporate and in, in Activision. Probably most likely. They wanted to get those legendary crests not eternal. Don't ask me why. I guess they think it's going to get people to spend $25 every five minutes for you know hundreds of thousands of dollars. Maybe that's their logic of that. But the truth is, most other mobile games I've ever played, uh, in these packs, if they had these crests, they would be eternal legendary crests. You know? I'm not trying to say that you know 
a lot of all the other mobile games are innocent and they're angels and you know but the truth is they would not be that greedy to block that from from low spenders okay even free players can't get it even low spenders can't get it okay only way you can get these eternal ones is if you're willing to spend 25 dollars for five minute dungeon that's the only way you're going to get them okay so that's for pay to win pay to play big time spenders okay they're basically cutting off everybody else but the big spenders from getting what they want another thing i like to point out if you look at the levels it goes up to one to 60 and then five to 85 now you know somebody might say well you know i play another game that you know that's done this you know that might be true but the reason why they do this is because they want to split the levels because if they say you know the beginning oh, what, what is it they can say in the beginning oh guys it's not that bad it's only to level 60 right now you know well that might be true but then you have you know the other levels okay what are the other levels 85 so in actuality that's 145 levels now let me ask you this if you were trying to promote this game and just came out would you feel safe and feel good about the game if they came out and told you oh that's okay guys it's not that bad it's only 145 levels yeah you're gonna look worry a little bit but it's okay this way though see that's how that's a trick Okay, we know plenty, I'm not going to go over this, it says, you know, cumulative days, and it's confusing the way they do this. I, I don't know why they can't just make things simple. Make it a 30-day automatic renewal subscription pack, optional you could do, maybe give you some extra orbs or something, rewards for having an automatic subscription. You know, that's money in the bank then at that point, and everybody's happy. The gamer's happy because they get a little bit extra, and the company's happy because they're guaranteed to get them the same money every month until they, until they cancel the subscription. So this stuff doesn't make sense. This is, not, this is another thing. I don't think NetEase, I don't think they were involved in this. I think this is a Blizzard or an Activision thing. There, there's multiple people. There's multiple corporations. You know, it's, it's not just one decision making. It's not one company to blame. There's multiple here. I can see it, you know, with my experience. Okay, now towards the end of the video, uh, the advice I have for all the types of players. If you're a free to play player, my advice is don't spend any money, okay? That's pretty simple, you know. If you want to play the game still and you still like it, you know, that's. that's you know, you're a young person. So my my suggestion would be not to spend anything. You could buy the 99, maybe you want to get the skin someday. Okay, maybe, you know, that's not an issue. But as far as the subscriptions and stuff, unless you're willing to spend $15 a month in this game every month, then don't buy nothing, okay? Stay free to play, trust me. Uh, maybe in a month or two, you know, if, if you still think maybe they changed the game, who knows? I mean, they can change. Maybe it'll get worse. You know, maybe you won't even want to play at that point because they do something even worse, which is very typical. Most likely that will be happening before they do something good, you know, uh, from my experience in mobile games, unfortunately. So that's my advice for free players. Okay, my next advice for uh, low spenders. Personally, um, I would hold off and spending any money. I know that sounds crazy, but I haven't, I can't spend money and I don't see the value myself. But if you wait to the end, towards the end of the battle, you know, battle pass. And if you, uh, don't need the extra 10 level, which you can get to rank 40, buy the 499 one. If you want to get the skin, you know what I'm saying? You know, if that's something you just want to have. Four ninety nine. You know, you can get you know some of the rewards, and you know, you know, that's what I would buy. You know, if you're struggling, you know, get the fourteen ninety nine one. You know, but I would just get with with the five ninety nine if you can get the rank forty or whatnot. You want if, whatever you think is your value. Okay, if the second up from that, uh, if you're still willing to spend more than that for the month, uh, you could get the boon of plenty. Um, it's not going to give you the eternal crest 
and it's going to give you remote access and market trade slots to put more more gems you can't put up which is going to probably encourage you to want to eventually spend it for another $25 for eternal crest you see where I'm going with this uh, this is probably going to get you to spend more money so um, if you want to just buy it for just one time just to get some of this you know the, the some of this stuff here just you know to try it for once and not do it again that's an option too so you're basically looking at if you're going to be a low spender five dollars a month fifteen dollars a month if you have to if that's what you want on um, maybe occasionally one one time you might spend an additional ten dollars to try to be in a plenty like that's probably going to be your best options for low spenders prodigy path this is sort of like uh if you get to certain levels you know uh, i don't see the value in it i really don't because they're not eternal so i don't see really much of anyone the purpose to buy it except for those no no not really so if you're a big spender don't even worry about that Last thing I want to throw out here, I know, you know, most spenders really don't watch videos too much, but if you are a big spender and you're still listening to the video, I want to just point these things out. There's so many different materials you need. You got to do this. Once you get this, you got to get it ranked. You got to upgrade. You got to get resonance. There's so many things you have to do to upgrade just one gem. And then this is intentional to confuse you to not realize how much money you will need, okay? Now, I have seen, I've heard that there, it's taken some people like $16,000, $20,000 just to get a, a rank five gem. And that's not even probably including the upgrading, the resonance or whatever else you can do with all that stuff, okay? That's just for the one, so. And you need six altogether, so you're looking at Right off the bat, if you really want to play a game where you're going to be able to max everything out, uh, around $100,000. So if you don't have that, um, there's really, in my opinion, there's no reason to spend that much money in this game. See, that's the irony in this game is, you know, you can spend $10,000, $20,000. Yeah, you're going to be able to beat everybody until you get to ten to $20,000, yeah. You know? But then somebody is 30000 or 40000 spent into the game. They're going to beat you. You see what I'm saying? So it's a money war. Especially, one last thing I wanted to clarify is the, they have the shadows and the immortals. And that is was all purposely done to even encourage people to spend even more to compete and, and see who can be top. You know? So if you are a big spender... If you want my honest opinion, if you want to spend money in a game, I'm not going to say it's wrong. If you, you know, that's what, Would I spend it in this game? Probably not. You know, I would probably find another game where I can actually know what the packs I'm buying instead of so-called loot box stuff, you know, because that's, and that, that I'm not saying that's, exactly gambling but you don't know what you're buying when you when you when you purchase that so you could end up wasting tons of money that you didn't have to if you played another game i just wanted to throw that out anyway it's bear and a bear and i hope this helped some people that were you know were kind of skeptical on some of the things and maybe they're going to pass on this or they're going to only spend a very little bit of money or whatnot uh Please like and subscribe for future content. I do have some MOBA games I have been looking at that are newish. And there's some, there's a lot of potential in them. And the monetary, the monetized system in those games is very well. Uh, you won't have to be spending $100,000 uh, to get the best stuff in those games. So anyway, this is Baron and Brad. Talk to you guys later.